Hi, today I would like to talk about churn and a customer's life cycle in e-commerce. We all know that maintaining relationships with clients is a complex process. Remember that they make purchasing decisions not only on the basis of prices and the quality of products. Clients' contact with the brand builds certain experiences in their mind, which can influence their behavior throughout the entire shopping cycle. How can you support this process and prevent customer migration? Let's find out. Users who read your online shop can be at various stages of the shopping journey. They can just enter in your shop, search through categories, look for a specific one, or add a chosen one to a shopping cart. Your task as the owner of e-commerce is to take the role of a guide, which means you should accompany your customers during shopping and help them make purchasing decisions. You can do this, for example, by collecting data on your client's behavior, use segmentation, and then adapt offers to their individual needs. All of these techniques can help you implement an effective anti-churn strategy at every stage of the customer's life cycle. In other words, they can help you stop your clients in your e-shop. What are the best anti-churn tactics in e-commerce? Building awareness. Potential customers contact your brand for the first time. They create an account in your online shop, subscribe to the newsletter, but do not take the next step. Do you know that if you don't activate them within seven days, the chance that they will become your clients falls practically to zero? Take advantage of the potential of remarketing and direct them to a personalized offer with a discount on their first purchase. Conversion. If your previous activities have built up positive experiences in, their awareness of your, in the awareness of your clients, it's very likely that they will make purchases in your eShop. Remember, however, that many customers don't return to the shop once again. How to keep them coming back? Take advantage of the potential of cross-selling and upselling. Offer them complementary and additional products and create the need in their mind they will want to satisfy. Retention. Making a purchase is not the last stage of the customer's life cycle in e-commerce. It is very important to keep their attention. Segment customers according to the time of their last visit the frequency of their visits, and the amount of money they spend for shopping. All of these factors stand for RFM criteria. Thanks to them, you will send messages encouraging to repeat purchases in your online shop, and you will ideally estimate the risk of, the, of their leaving. Reactivation. In your customer base, you will surely find clients who haven't taken any interaction with your brand for a long period of time. You know, however, their purchase history, and you have contact details. Use this information to reactivate it. Prepare contextual promotional campaigns. Present an offer of complementary and additional products. I hope this knowledge helps you prevent losing clients. Remember that all they need is your guidance and the feeling of being in touch with you. Good luck.